The Global Security Forum was a broad sweeping conference covering everything from cybersecurity to counterterrorism, robotics, and the defense industrial base. Thank you all for coming. My name is John Hamry. I'm the president here at CSIS. And we've long wanted to be able to have a prominent national security conference in Washington on really cutting edge issues. And this is the first year we've had a chance to do that. Thank you for coming. The Global Security Forum, CSIS's marquee conference, surveyed a range of major security issues confronting the United States. The forum brought together senior decision makers from the private sector, government, and academia for open conversation and debate. Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General James Cartwright, keynoted the forum. Nine panels followed, covering topics such as cybersecurity, the role of nuclear weapons, and how to stop al-Qaeda. You know, the two key tests that were going to happen this year for our Afghanistan policy, I have to be honest and say, I don't think they're going very well. Obviously, we need to be alert to changing needs, as we have been, I think, very much over the last eight years. No longer can you afford to be attacked and then wait 30 days. You can't do it. We spoke with former Joint Chiefs Chairman General Peter Pace and former National Security Advisor Brent Scowcroft to hear more of their thoughts on these security challenges. Big picture here, could you just explain to us the importance of U.S. overseas bases? Yeah, um, many, many different facets. Number one, it is very much an articulation of U.S. national policy. Where your troops are, what kind of access they have, is very much an execution of U.S. national policy. Sir, so where do you rank the importance of an Israeli-Palestinian compromise on the United States foreign policy agenda? I would put it right at the top now. I think that movement in that area would do more both for President Obama and his sense of being able to actually grab a problem and deal with it and also influence other problems in the region. To see more, please download the full video or audio of the conference from CSIS.org or iTunes U.